Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video, so I hope this helps you. Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make custom cursors similar to the one you see here. Sorry if it's a little laggy in the background. I, I was rendering something and the lag is crazy. But yeah, it's really, really easy and I really wanted to do a tutorial on this uh, because I haven't seen any yet on YouTube and I really wanted to start out my channel with something that would really help you guys. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is your browser. Obviously, you can use Mozilla, but I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this. I just find it a lot easier when doing this. I've tried Mozilla. It just wasn't as easy. So yeah, you just download it. And basically what you want to do is you want to go into your Google browser and search up Sims for Plumbob PNG. Make sure you search PNG at the end. This will give you a Sims for Plumbob that is similar to this right here. And it has to have the white checkers up behind it. Otherwise, um, you'll have a black, a white background, um, and that's not what you want around your cursor. So make sure it just has the checkered. Once you do that, just save it to your computer. I've already saved it, and so I'm not going to save it again. But that is the first step. So the second step is you want to go to befunky.com, and this is a photo editor. And basically, you want to just click upload. This allows you click computer, and this allows you to add your um, plum bob that you just saved and it should not have a white background around it it just shouldn't if it does then something is wrong um, you, sh you didn't get a PNG one uh, so what you want to do is you want to just click these three bars in the corner and you want to just click edit right here and then you want to click color after clicking color you'll get three things and you can change from all different colors you can do literally any color you want if you, I like this one right here. I think it's really, really pretty. So this is the one I'm going to do. But you can literally play around with all types of colors. There's yellows. There's oranges. There's reds. It's not just pink or, you know, it's just all types of colors, which I think is amazing. Um, um, this is kind of how people make their cursors, their um, Sims 4 cursors for Tumblr and things like that. So, yeah, what you want to do is just click the little check mark and then you just click save. And then what you want to do is just save it to your computer and you just can name it anything you want. I'm just make sure you click PNG. I'm going to save it as Plumbob template and then I'm just going to click save. Basically just save it onto your computer and next step is to go to cursor.cc.com. And this is a free cursor creator. It lets you like create cursors and stuff and it's just it's really good and uh, so um, yeah what you want to do is click create new cursor in the corner you can also just create your own it does not have to be a plum bob um, so create new cursor if there's something already there you want to then click import image the page um, for import image looks just like this and with this page you want to click choose file and you're going to just find your Plumbob cursor and click upload. So I think mine is right here. It is the PNG and you'll know because it has the white checkers behind it. Yep, this is our cursor. So you just want to click upload. It takes just a second. And then this should get a bit bigger. It should not be this color right here. It should get a bit bigger, but mine is taking forever to load. There it is. So, um... <laughs> What you want to do is, as you can see, it gives you a little preview of how your cursor is going to look on screen, but you're not done. You need to, to go down here, and you need to pick the color black. And with that, you need to take your mouse and just color in this area right here. This is optional, but it's basically your hotkey, so you can kind of see where you need to click and stuff, and it just really helps because um, it shows you, okay, this is where I click things and it doesn't have to be this big I made mine a bit big but it doesn't have to be that big and that's how it looks and then over here where is it at I think you just click download I'm gonna just find the download button <laughs> here it is it's download cursor right here and it takes a second it doesn't even take long to download so do not even worry about that <laughs> so you want to just click download and then this should come up and this is your cursor package file and what you want to do is basically go minimize and you want to right click on your computer that should bring up a little menu uh, drop menu click personalize okay. 
Once you have the personalized screen up, you want to just click on change mouse cursor or pointer, which should bring up another box. And what you want to do is click browse in the corner and this should bring up another box. After you click browse in the corner, you want to just take your cursor and you want to drag it into there. So if that doesn't work, one second, I accidentally took away that page. Um, it should just be right there and it just drag, drag your cursor in there. Mine is right there, cursor one. And then you want to use, you click on browse, double click cursor one, and then you click apply and there's your cursor. Um, I hope this helped you and if it did, please make sure you subscribe because I am going to be posting a giveaway um, later. I probably will post it tomorrow, if not later today. And I'm going to be giving away two copies of The Sims 4 Luxury Stuff Pack, two copies of The Sims 4 Perfect Patio Set, and one copy of The Sims 4 Base Game. And yeah, I just really hope this helped you. Like I said, if it did, make sure you leave a comment telling me that it helped you and how I can improve on my videos. I did get some new games. I finished my collection of Sims 3, so I now have everything. So we can do an LP on that, and then I have everything for Sims 4. So we can do an LP on that as well. Just let me know what you guys want to see in my videos. And without further ado, bye guys.